The spotlight shines on roses and sweet potatoes here at the Vineland Research and Innovation Center these days. The new products are being developed with Canada's cooler temperatures and shorter growing seasons in mind. The main property that makes it very attractive to, to this region or all of Canada is its early maturity. Because Canada has a very short growing season, it's very adaptive to this type of climate and short season. We hope that uh, Loblaws will like the properties due to the fact that they can harvest it much earlier and get it to the Thanksgiving market. I understand you did some test marketing, maybe not yourself, but the research center itself. You ask people about, you ask groups about what they would like in a sweet potato. The main thing we found was the uh, very deep orange color that they liked. And obviously flavor is always a factor. And with Radiance, we found that it always performed uh, on top of uh, existing commercial varieties. Is it true that about half of the sweet potatoes that we eat here in Canada come from the United States? And is your goal to sort of make us a little bit more self-reliant on Canadian grown sweet potato? I would say it's more than half. It's probably 90% comes from the US. So there's an, a real opportunity to locally produce sweet potatoes across Canada and uh, not to rely on uh, U.S. imports. Amy, the Chinook Rose, how did you come up with that name? It's the Chinook Sunrise Rose, and so that'll be the next rose out of our 49th parallel release. And so we got the name from um, testing it with consumers. So we wanted to make sure each of the roses in our 49th parallel collection, that the name resonates with one, something that's very Canadian, and two, that kind of you know gets sort of the emotions and the feelings of what the, the rose elicits. So with Chinook Sunrise being sort of a wave of sort of colors, it's sort of, you know, it's sort of similar to the sun rising, and it's sort of very warm colors, so you know, you think of the warming winds of the prairies with Chinook, so that was a name that just really resonated well with the, the, the picture, the image of the rose. You said a wave of colors, and I understand that this particular rose comes out as a coral color, but then changes to a, a pink as well. Yeah, so it's quite beautiful that way, and that it comes out as this sort of um, you know bright coral color, which is something that people love, and then it sort of fades over time as it opens up. It's a little more, you know, kind of um, corals to pinks, and then as it fades, um, it goes more to sort of whites and light pinks. But however, then the next bloom and the bud of there is the coral is there. So that's where you get this wave of color that you see over the plant. So behind you, if I look at this field of roses, mm. I see a bunch of different colors. Are these all Chinook roses at different stages? No, no. So these are all different roses that come out of our breeding program. So essentially how it works is that we ma you make the cross and then the field that's in front of me is where we'd plant out one rose. We would look at that to see that it has the characteristics that we're looking for, um, that it's you know surviving well in the field, it has the right colors, and then once it does well in that field, we, we make those selections and then we plant out about you know five to six of them that's in the field um, behind me. And so Chinook is one of them that is in that field. This follows your successful launch of the Canadian Shield Rose for Canada's 150th. How did that go? Oh, it went fantastic. We sold out, so we couldn't really ask for any better. So we had over 50,000 roses that were for sale across Canada, and um, they all sold out. So we thought of that as a huge success. When I look at the sweet potato fields here behind you, I notice that some of them are grown in these rows with the plastic, and some of them are not. Why the difference? So in areas such as Nova Scotia and Quebec, it's much cooler climate than southern Ontario. So they have to rely on the black plastic to heat up the soil in order to get the temperatures appropriate for growing sweet potatoes in those regions. Your research took sort of two different phases, um, including an earlier stage called the slip production. Can you describe that? Our first phase was to actually develop the varieties that would be adapted to this region. The second phase, as you mentioned, is trying to develop a slip production industry here in Canada, which currently does not exist, trying to develop the, the cuttings that are used by growers to produce the, the sweet potatoes. It's about a three month process and existing uh, greenhouses in Ontario or across Canada would be able to get into this industry by filling in gaps where, where there's downtime in their greenhouses. Both Radiant Sweet Potatoes and the Chinook Sunrise Rose will be available to consumers across Canada in 2019. Reporting in Vineland for The Source, I'm Mike Balsam.